Hey guys, it is time to have a little chat about foil boards. So here we are down the coast today, the waves are absolutely pumping behind me and I've got my Sonova Quiver, which I wanna have a little chat about. I get a few questions about these boards every now and then and what I like about them and why they're so awesome. So stay tuned and I hope you find this video informative. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's start off with this one. This is my 4.0, my smallest board in my quiver. Um, I love this thing for dock starts. Also, I love it for flat water pumping in small waves because it's got a lot of volume condensed into such a tiny board. It's got that real skateboard feel in the small waves, which is super fun. So this shape here is actually based off the standard Sonova foil board shape. And I worked with the legendary board designer, Marcus Tardrew, and he helped me shave off a few liters and narrow it up a tiny bit so it suits me a little bit better because I'm a bit of a lightweight. So, this one here is 26 litres, four foot long, 18 inches wide, and it's just over two and a half thick, so it's nice and chunky, um, but it's super lightweight, so I love this thing. So some of the features, if I flip it over, it's got a real subtle V up here in the nose, which we might be able to show you if you look through there. A little bit of a V which softens it up and helps with the touchdowns on pumping and uh, releases from the water nice and smoothly. Lots of volume through the tail, as I mentioned, so it helps to catch waves. Um, and then on the front here, when we flip it back over, we've got a nice big full deck grip and this one's from RS Pro and these guys make amazing cork deck grips which is environmentally friendly so I'm all about that um, and it's also not too grippy I can still shuffle my feet around if I need to but it's lightweight it's nice and thin you barely know it's there so these deck grips are absolutely insane um, perfect for foil boarding so that's a wrap up of my 4.0 the next board we'll talk about is my 4.6 here which is pretty epic so here we go Okay, so this is my 4.6, uh, based off the Pilot model, which is uh, from James Casey. Again, working with Marcus, we shaved off a few litres and we got this one down to 26 litres, which is my happy place. 18 inches wide this time, and it's just under two and a half inches thick. More of a narrower surfboard shape for this one, so this is my step up when the waves start to get a little bit better and I start to get overdone on my smaller board. Nice and narrow, really streamlined. This thing paddles amazing and catches waves really easily. I've uh, got a nice big double concave through the front here. It's quite an aggressive double concave as we can see there, which really helps release from the water and it helps in those bumpy situations and really smooths things out for you. The way these rails are shaped actually feels amazing when you're duck diving as well. So we're not gripping onto massive chunky rails. It's got really nice rails to grip onto when you're moving around in the surf. And again, we've got the big front grip from RS Pro. Those guys make a beautiful cork grip. I've got a discount code which I'll put in the comments below if you're interested in one of these cork grips because I use them on all my boards and I have for a while now and I think they're absolutely insane. So that's my 4.6. Okay, so what I like most about these boards is how light and how strong they are. Sonova have always had a long reputation for making the lightest, strongest surfboards out there. So now that comes through in their foil boards, which is really good news. So both of these are only about 2.8 kilos, which is 6.1 pounds, so super light. I love a light foil board, uh, it's definitely important. It all starts off with an EPS super light foam core on the inside, and then a bit of a secret sandwich construction after that featuring fiberglass and timber, and in this case it's balsa, making them really flexible, but at the same time really strong. So the deck on these things is rock hard. You can't break these. I've had both of these boards for a while now, and there's no marks, no dings, no cracks or anything, but they still flex, and I'm wondering if that's why these things pump so good, because their surfboards are renowned for flexing and springing back. And I think that might be a bit of a secret sauce in these things because these things seem to pump amazing and I think it might have something to do with that flex. So I won't tech out too much on that for you guys, but if you want to read a bit more about it and learn more about their construction, I'll put some links below and you can watch some videos. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you found this little video to be helpful and I answered some questions about my foil boards. If I missed anything, shoot me a message or leave a comment. Uh, share these vids with your friends. Feel free to subscribe um, and I'll see you soon. The waves are pumping. I'm wrapping it up and getting out of here. See you soon. Cheers. that windy? I can feel it. Yeah. Why'd I say that for? Alright, I'm gonna go again. Okay. That alright?
Let me just check. Is that okay? Are we on? Oh, sorry, I saw you creeping up on me. Okay, cool. I'll probably start this one again. All right. Really strong. I think I'm trying not to squint. All right, here we go. Uh, I'll just do this. All right. Yep. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. I was doing so good.